Welcome back to Airborne Productions and welcome to the last part of a multi-part series video on making an expansion chamber for a two-stroke. At the moment, the expansion chamber and the silencer, they're all built. We just need to mount it up, weld on some tabs, put a gasket on it, and she'll be good to go. First things first, we need to bolt this guy onto the bike. Before we weld any mounts, we want to make sure that it's sitting in just the right spot. Originally, I planned on making my own gasket but I found a nice one off of Niche Cycle Supply for about seven bucks. It's an eighth inch thick, which means it'll crush really well, which means that it'll seal great. You could always make your own gasket, but to me this was just much more convenient. Out with the old, in with the new. Now that it's bolted into place, we're going to fasten the silencer to the expansion chamber. To do so, We'll use two springs, one on top, one on bottom. We'll just cut and weld some tabs to hold the springs into place, and that should be good. And here are the springs we're using. I'm gonna use one on top about here, one on bottom. I've marked that location with this tape right here. I'll be cutting the tabs out of this 10 gauge sheet material, mild steel, with a simple rotary tool. And here they are rough cut. We're gonna take them off the sheet and then take them to the belt sander, get them a little cleaner. And now we have four of these little pads. So essentially I'll weld it up like this four times. So one on this side, one on the other side over here where the pipe is, and then also on the bottom piece. So I'll have a top and bottom. What this is gonna do is give the spring a piece to hold onto on each side of the pipe. Time to weld her up. Okay, I have these welded up. They look like crap, but this small stuff is so difficult to weld. Time to put these right about there. Okay, we got this welded onto the silencer. Doesn't look the best, but the springs hold up really well. Now to weld it onto the expansion chamber. Here she is welded up. It ain't pretty, but it'll work. And with the springs attached, here's about what it looks like. There are the springs and the tabs with the thing on the bike. I'm gonna work on this again next time. There's just not enough light out right now. We're gonna make those tabs, one on the expansion chamber, one on the silencer to keep those mounted to the bike with a rubber mount in the middle to give it a little bit of play. Okay, we're back another day. Time to finish this thing up. I started with cutting out these small pieces and drilling holes in them. And once I did that, I ground them smooth, gave them a little bit of a corner radius, and just generally cleaned them up in order to prep them for welding. And we'll be doing one of these in this approximate area and one of them back here to keep the end of the muffler from wiggling around too much. So here's our basic setup. On the outside, we have a piece of flat stock that will be welded to the bike. On the other side, we have a piece of flat stock that will be welded to the pipe. In between those two is a rubber washer. That way the bike can vibrate and have a little bit of room to play. A solid mount is much more prone to cracking and this type of mount We'll let it move a healthy amount. Also have flat washer on either side and a nut. Super simple. Okay, she's tacked into place. First one. Okay, here's the rear tab. And there's the front tab, all welded up. And we just need our hardware. And that's that. She's now bolted on solid. Yeah, this thing ain't going anywhere. Well, 
Well, the pipe is finally finished. One thing I didn't get to do was paint it. I planned on painting it clear just to preserve that finish, keep it from getting too rusty. That's okay, I'll do that another time, but I mean, mechanically and aesthetically, it's not gonna change from where it's at now. So thank you so much for following along. Unfortunately, I can't start her up right now. Uh, the gas tank it isn't even on the bike right now. I need to mount the gas tank and redo the entire fuel line. Uh, make sure the carbs running okay. I got a little bit of work to do before we can fire her up. It's also been over four years since this engine started. So stay tuned. Uh, in the next video, you're going to see this thing running. It'll be a little bit. But thanks again for watching. Please consider subscribing to see us revive this old two-stroke monster. We'll see you on the next one.